right, well, they say this thing has more surface area than the stalker. But I don't get... This is the one that goes into the transmission. This is the one that actually rides in the new cover. But I don't see how it can be any bigger because you're not increasing the bore in the transmission. Hmm. Well, we got the old Chevy all jacked up. We'll crawl underneath there and have a peek. All right. Shed a little light on this subject. It's that bugger. Right there is the band servo. So to hit second gear, the band is applied, grabs onto a drum. This servo gets oil pressure and pushes on it. So, well, what we got here, early 80s, uh, Turbo Hydromatic 204R. It's a smaller case. I think it's exactly the same length as a 350, although it has a second gear. In a 700, which comes in a lot of trucks, it also comes in cars. Um, First gear is pretty deep, whereas, so that 1-2 gear shift is uh, large, you know, there's a big space. These are much more evenly spaced and still gives you that 27% overdrive. So, we're going to see about, I'm going to say that I definitely have enough room underneath there. I can get my hand in there. So we can get that out and start dorking with that. Let's see about uh, getting this other one in. Everybody swears by them. Says they're that's part of the build, along with a wide band. I doubt I got a wide band, even though I friggin' asked for one. But we'll do the next best thing. Put this in, and if it shits the bed, then I already have the part. And then we rebuild it and put it in there. Or go uh, 4L60 and uh, 4.8 and do an LS swap in this thing just to putter around. Just to cruise. Anyway, stand by. I'm going to dig that out. And then we'll eyeball it. Well, I will be the first to admit that when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. This top up here must be the apply side. You can see how much bigger in diameter it is. We hold those two up. So that's how they get bigger piston. And that's what's machined into the cover. So it must chooch up through the center of that pin. So that's hollow. Uh, where's my new one? Yep. From there, up through there. Cool. So this one's apparently longer as well. To, uh, to help you get a, a better hit. I'm going to check on this spring. See if there's a better spring I can get. My instructions say to use the OEM cushion spring. Well, if it just applies a little bit and then grabs the rest of it. Let's see if... So that spring goes there. Oh, there's two spacers on the end. This little cover. And another spacer on that spring and then that guy. So it does just clamp that spring just a little bit before it bottoms out. So uh, probably be okay. That's just a keep it from being too harsh. Probably. The instructions do say that if you want it to bang the hell out of these gears, they got a spacer to replace that spring. I don't want that. I just want it to grab harder. 
So, well, we're gonna clean up. I gotta do some checking. The uh, the trick to getting this guy off, while well, I'm thinking about it. So this is that part we were pointing to on the side of the transmission. Put a pry bar up in there, push this in, and then snap ring, grab it. I, I was Once I pushed that in, I was able to spin it a little bit until I could catch the very end of it. Put a little screwdriver in there, boink, pops right out. And then this is the piston. Goes on top of there, like so. And that's the whole assembly. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to dark around. I'm going to Google that. Uh, see what my Google foo says about that purple spring. Maybe, hopefully, it was part of a shift kit. And it is an upgrade. He just didn't. I asked the transmission guy to uh, bigger second gear band. Uh, go ahead and upgrade drums if I have to. If they're looking funny, just tell me. I don't want to go back into this transmission. Oh, yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. Stay on top of your guys. I should have just... I mean, I've been in two automatic transmissions before. I should have just done this one. But, no. I was kind of in a hurry. Dropped the transmission off. Gave them my little list, which I printed off of uh, Turbo Bricks or Turbo Buick. Um, cause they do all, all their GNs came with 200s. So those guys have it fucking figured out. But, apparently he didn't listen to me and you can get bigger, wider bands to grab onto the drum. Whatever. This was only 160 bucks from Summit. On the shelf, ready to roll. Oh well. Well, we're gonna jam this guy in. Let me build this up, Google that spring, I'll be back. Alright, well, we are in. That took a bit of fighting, it took me like four times to get the... I had to shorten that pin quite a bit. Um, to get there roughly tenth inch of travel. So what I did was I took my old machinist square, put it on there, watched it on the edge and then pushed the cover in and out and then got me a good tenth of an inch um, then I had to have my helper come because that piston's a little shallower so we wedged that in there and then he pulled and then I fought that uh, big old snap ring in so now all we have to do is put a little more transmission fluid in it I think I lost about two quarts total out of that hole and that's about it wait for it it's supposed to friggin snow tomorrow so we won't be able to test drive her for a little bit hopefully this weekend and then I'll finish this vidi and we'll go from there rock on well we got that in snow melted off took her around the block eh, that ain't gonna work it's actually worse than what it used to be. So, I'm on the book of face with those guys. Uh, they want to see line pressures. I found a uh, transmission gauge kit. Bunch of fittings, you know, long hose and a just an analog pressure gauge. Uh, it's 30 bucks, so I'll go ahead and buy that. Hook it on there. That should be here next week uh, put it on there and see what it does so anyways we're gonna shut this one down and I will see you guys next week Wait.